In this video tutorial, an introduction to arrays will be presented. An array is a collection of controls or indicators that hold values of the same data type. We can use one-dimensional arrays to define vectors and use two-dimensional arrays to define matrices. First, we'll create a one-dimensional array of let's say five controls. Right click, modern, go to array and matrices and select array. Notice that this one dimensional array has no controls and the index of the first element is zero. Now we get a control object and drag it into the empty array. Note now the array has one control element of zero value and zero index. In our example, our one dimensional array has five elements, so we need to expand the uh, area of the array like so, two elements, three, four, five. Next, we assign values into the elements of the array. Now let's create another vector of five elements. Now we have two vectors A and B. Let's create a simple VI that will add these two vectors and put the result in a, a vector of indicator elements. Within the block diagram, we want to add the elements of vector A with the elements of vector B and put the result into another one-dimensional vector of indicator elements and to do that we come to the output of the add function right click create indicator in the front panel live view automatically adds a adds a one-dimensional vector of indicator elements but it has only one element so we need to manually expand to have five elements like so. Executing the program we observe the sum of A and B vectors into the new vector C and we can change the values and observe the result at the output. Now let's create a VI that will sum the elements of the one dimensional array and display the result in a numeric indicator. Within the block diagram, the summation of the elements will be done by using a for loop with a count of 5. First, we need to connect or wire the output of the array into the first input of the add function. And then we make a feedback from the output into the input of the add function. Now here the initial value due to the feedback should be zero. Notice the tunnel here is auto index tunnel indicating that this tunnel will allow a vector to pass through. Finally the output of the add function needs to be wired into the sum via a, another tunnel. Now this tunnel here has to be non-indexed so that only the final value of the sum should be passed to the sum indicator. Running the VI we observe from the front panel that the sum indicator gives me the total sum of the elements. We can change the values to verify the sum. Now let's create a matrix within LiveView. Now by default, this array is one dimensional. Now we can make this array two dimensional by coming to the index, expanding it so that we have two indices. Now the array becomes two dimensional. Again, we drag a numeric control within the array. Now we need to expand horizontally the array so that it becomes 
two dimensional now let's say we want to create a matrix 4x4 four four, so we can expand like so now we have two rows and two columns and the index of the array or the index of the first element is 0 0 now let's say we have two matrices 2 by 2 and we want to multiply these two matrices here within the block diagram we will multiply the two matrices and at the output of the product we will create the uh, indicator create indicator and the front panel automatically LabVIEW adds for us the two-dimensional array but we need to expand the area of the array so that we have two rows and two columns running the VI program we observe the output where we see that matrix A and matrix B are multiplied and the result is obtained in matrix C now let's say in the block diagram we want to find the transpose of matrix A so we need to get the transpose function right click we can always use the search facility within the uh, block diagram so search we type transpose we select matrix transpose and here we have the function we need transpose matrix now we connect matrix A to the transpose function and the output of the transpose function we need to create a indicator now we run the program within the front panel and you can see here the transpose of A is given where the rows become columns this concludes this video tutorial